Welcome to Folio Tech. This video will demonstrate how your students will register for their Folio Tech accounts and show you the process they must go through to create the presentation portfolio. Once your students have purchased the Folio Tech packet, they must go to our website www.foliotech.com and click on register for a new account to gain access to their presentation portfolio. The registration card they received an example of which is now on your screen, contains the registration code and portfolio code they need to register for their account. They must accurately type the codes using capital letters and appropriate dashes. Then they must fill out their username and password information and other personal information including their name, address, and time zone. Once they have completed this information, they must click on Continue to Next Step. Here, the students must enter their primary email address, which must be a valid email address, telephone number, and at the request of the Dallas County Community College District, students must also enter their student ID number and designate which campus they attend. Once clicking Continue, they are asked to read and agree to abide by our licensing agreement. They place their initials in the box, click I accept the terms of this license, and by clicking on the button, complete the registration. This is the opening screen that your students will see when they enter their Foliotech accounts. They have access to a video that will give them some instruction on how to go about creating their presentation portfolio. When they're ready, they can click Create Portfolio to begin building their presentation. Right now, we're going to click on Create Portfolio, and I'll show you how to create a presentation portfolio so that you can better instruct your students in that process. To begin building your portfolio, first follow the three-step process of choosing a design, choosing the type, and giving it a name. First, let's look at the design. There are two types of designs. Custom designs, denoted by the gear icon in the upper right corner, allow you to make many changes to style, color, and configuration. Basic designs, which do not have the gear icon, only allow you to make a few changes. Let's select the first design. Next, you'll need to decide what type of portfolio you would like to create. You will see listed several options. Some courses will ask you to use the learning framework type. In the future, you will see other types listed that have been designed by other courses, and your instructor will advise you as to what type you need to select. For our purpose today, we will use the learning framework type. Now, give the portfolio a name and click Create Portfolio. Now that your portfolio is created, you can begin your work. On each page, there's a short paragraph describing what your instructor would like to see on that page. Once you have read those instructions, you can highlight and remove them and begin adding your own content. With text, you can use the toolbar at the top to change the font, change the size, change the color. You can also make it bold, italics, or underline. You can even add a link to another website if you'd like. To place other documents in your portfolio, you must first add them to your files area. Click on the Files tab, and then on Add Files to do this. Once they are added, as these have been, you can click on a file, and then into the page to add a link to that document. If you want to add images or videos, that is done in the Gizmos tab. Here, you can click on a gizmo to add an image from your files area or the internet, 
add a video from a popular site such as YouTube or blip.tv, or a feedback page. Your instructors expect you to add a feedback page to any portfolio you create. We will look at this process in a moment. For now, let's add an image as an example. Notice you can add your images. These are images that are stored in your files area. Or you can add an image from the web. Simply take the URL of the image from the internet page, paste it in here, and click Add Image. At this time, we're going to add an image from our files area. And notice how the image is placed in the content page. Not only can you change the content of the pages, but you can also edit the contact information of your portfolio by clicking in the profile area. Here, you can change the text, or, using the image gizmo, add a photograph of yourself. The Pages tab allows you to rearrange the pages of your portfolio. Simply grab the page you wish to move and drag it to where you want it. We saw the feedback gizmo earlier. Let's add that required page now. You can add pages by clicking on Create New in the Pages tab. Then give it a name and select Empty Content Page. When we click Add Page, notice it's added to the list of our draft pages and it also appears here in the editor. Now we can go back to the Gizmos tab, click on Feedback Form, click into the page, and add the Feedback Gizmo. We can also edit the text here to let somebody know what we want them to do. Now, when we share this portfolio, those who view it can let us know what they think. On the Pages tab, you also have the option to publish the portfolio here. That makes it visible to others. The Design tab can be used at any time to change the look of the portfolio. If a custom design was selected, you can change the layout by selecting any one of the different options. You can change the background, and there are hundreds of options to choose from. And notice how it changes immediately so we can begin to see how those changes affect our portfolio. You can also change the recommended colors for the font and backgrounds. And by selecting the Styles tab, you can change the site as a whole, you can change the title and the header, the main page of the portfolio, and the other menus that are available. Once you've made the changes and you like the way that they look, click Apply If at any time you'd like to save the changes that you've made, simply click on the Save button. Notice that it does tell you how long it's been since you last saved. Once you're happy with your portfolio, you can use the Preview link to see what it would look like if it was live. Simply click on Preview Draft, and it shows you a version of the portfolio as if it were shared with someone else. When finished, click close preview and you can continue editing. When you're satisfied with the way it looks, you can share it with your instructor or someone else using the sharing link. Here, you can share it by email using the send invites page. You can share it publicly, which will be placing it on the internet for anyone to see. This is also the place where you can view any feedback that's been left on the feedback page that you created. At this time, let's share it by email. Here you would enter the email of your instructor. You'd put their name, type a brief message, select a begin date, 
and that's the time at which they will be able to first view the portfolio, select an expiration date, at which point they will no longer be able to see the portfolio. Make sure the send an email make sure the send an email invite now is selected and click send invites. Your portfolio has now been shared via email with your instructor. If you need help with some aspect of creating a portfolio, please contact our support staff at 1-888-365-4639 and select option 2 for technical support. Our support team is available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time. This concludes the faculty video for faculty in the Dallas County Community College District.